Welcome back to my Let's Play for Pokemon Crystal and my Mono Bug Run. It's time to once again take on our rival and acquire the power of Cut. I hate Cut. It's one of those HMs that just doesn't have enough power to really be useful. I mean, sure, it's something you'll throw on a Pokemon if you're in a pinch and need something better than Tackle, but largely look at Cut and be like, this move's worthless. Like, if you're gonna put Poke moves on a Pokemon, you're definitely not gonna have Cut on your list or High on your list for something to give a Pokemon. I take headbutt over cut. It's more powerful and it at least provides flinching ability. I mean, at least that's something. It's better than the big fat nothing they give you, at least. And yeah, I might regret coming into this battle without having healed, but who knows? I wouldn't put past Monarch to take down Cool Lava despite being injured, to be honest. With the aid of sleep power, we can just pound it while it's unconscious, after all. Okay. Ooh, that's some bad luck right there. We'll have to hope it um works next time and it stays asleep for a good while. Because I doubt Monarch's going to get a fast kill here, let's face it. Just one thing you can say about Monarch is it's just hack up the stats to really crush things with some um, psychic powers. Well, that might come in handy if it wakes up too early. It might wake itself up, then smack itself right in the face. I can dream, can't I? Ah, still sleeping for now, huh? Well, we'll keep attacking as long as it's sleeping. Oh, come on, please knock yourself out. Sweet. Okay, it didn't knock itself out, but we can finish it off now. And that's good enough. And that just leaves Zubat. Uh, the most useless of all Pokemon on his team. Um, Crobat's not bad, but Zubat? Forget it. You have to get so high level to learn anything worthwhile on Zubat. It's just annoying. Like, he might know Bite, and that's pretty much it. I mean, I guess he can throw out Super Sonic, but... I doubt he's gonna be able to do much with it. And heck, if he confuses me, I still have other Pokemon I can switch out. Or switch into, like... Ugh. Can't talk right now. Jeez. That's not really an excuse here. You lost to a Butterfree. Sure, it had some levels on a lot of your Pokemon, like four, but that's not a big enough difference to matter. And you had type advantage. Don't blame me for the fact that your cool lava can't resist being put to sleep. Seriously. Because that's just pitiful. <sighs> yeah, yeah, whatever. Just a distraction. I ain't got time for that. <sighs> Well, time to hit up the forest. And get that cut. Of course, I'll tell you to be wary of the Guardian of the Forest, despite the fact you can't possibly run into it. But, whatever. Our real target for now was, um... Paris. Paris? I'm not sure if I can come up with a clever name for it, though. I mean, it does world a giant mushroom, but calling it Shroomer or something sounds kind of stupid. I think I did that before, so... no, uh, that's a pass. I guess you always name it Magic Shrooms, but... That might be a bit too obvious. Hmm. Oh no, I'll come up with something. Or not. I'm, I mean, I'll just call it Paris the Paris. I don't know. Of course, that's assuming I find it anytime soon. It's not exactly the most common of encounters out here, which is a bit disappointing, but it makes sense, considering Paris can be quite useful for, um, sleep attacks. And sleep attacks can be quite devastating if you can't counter them. I mean, if the opponent has sleep talk or something, it suddenly ruins your day, but otherwise, yeah, it's not that scary. Oh, Venonat! I forgot you were out here. Damn. 
Well, let me try and catch you. After all, Venomat does turn into a Venom Moth and gets psychic. Which is kinda handy, I have to admit. And I think it has better stats than Butterfree considering it evolves later, so there's that too. We see how pathetic um, Monarch's um, tackle attack really is, don't we? Yeah, I'll throw a Great Ball at it. Hopefully if I run across uh, Paris now, I can catch it still. You never know when a ball is going to blow up in your face, though. Unless it's a Master Ball. That one always works. Well, now... Huh. I don't know what the name of Moth right now. Oh, I know. Bum -ba -bum. Probably not the most fitting name considering Moth is usually female, but whatever. And I probably misspelt it, but screw it. This is Mothra now. <laughs> and we're gonna go with it. Will I find a Paris while I'm out here as well? Basically round off the um team for now, unless I wanna pick up a pincer. Because at some point, I'm probably going to be boxing Monarch, I have to admit. I'll have other options for putting the targets to sleep, after all. <sighs> but who knows, maybe it'll hold its own until the end. Though, that might be hard to pull off. Ah, another Oddish. They just keep showing up. It's like they're lying up to die, just not interested in smacking them around right now. Okay. Well, I guess we got a few more steps before we um, get out of here. Nope, no luck. Yeah, I found it alright. I could pick up the charcoal, but I don't think there's any bug Pokemon I can think of that can learn a fire move. There might be an exception out there somewhere, but I don't think it's going to be found in Gen 1 or Gen 2, at least. A fire bug would be kind of cool. Especially if it's a lightning bug. Yeah. Yeah, I'll stop after I get back to the, um... Entrance for this place. But I would like to heal up, though. <sighs> hey, I might not be in the right time to the fine Parises right now. I may have to hunt for them later. Well, that'll do for this episode. Till next time, then. See ya.